Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your financial freedom journey partner. So today I'm gonna give an update of my $90,000 of uh, stock portfolio. So uh, it, uh, it took uh, almost like one and a half years for me to accumulate this uh, amount of money. And when I first started, I was not quite sure like how I'm gonna uh, choose my stocks, how I'm gonna invest. But once I started, then I took it seriously and I uh, learned from there. And now I feel uh, that I made a very good decision because uh, the $90,000 stock portfolio that I have, it has grown by 30% in a single year. So can you imagine? Imagine in any bank, anywhere you can't get 30% of return in a single year. So that's uh, been an amazing experience for me. So today I'm going to share with you my current stock portfolio, the updates and uh, how I am uh, diversifying my stock portfolio, all the integrity details. So uh, before starting the video, I just want to talk about myself while well, I'm Arif. So I started investing almost one and a half years ago. I have gone through many blogs, many YouTube channels, many um, the courses related to the uh, stock market because I really wanted to learn about it. So this channel is all about uh, stock market uh, investment, uh, financial decision. So uh, if you are interested in this topic, this channel is definitely for you. So I'm going to upload videos in a very frequently manner. So please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos. With a further delay, let's get started. So I have opened my stock portfolio. So this is well simple. I'm in Canada and in Canada, well simple is pretty popular. So uh, at the very top, you can see the total amount of my stock portfolio. It's $89,744. So near around 90,000, you can say. And uh, there are a few sections of my stock portfolio. The first one is uh, non-registered. Uh, the second one is uh, TFSA and the third one is crypto. So uh, let me first talk about uh, what is uh, TFSA. Well, TFSA stands for tax-free savings account. So if you're in Canada, then you get this uh, TFSA. So TFSA is uh, every year, the government gonna allocate a certain amount of threshold that you can invest without any interest. So every year I'm getting near like $7,000 of uh, uh, room allocation. So the beauty of TFSA is that the the gains that you're going to make from this TFS account is tax-free. That means you don't have to pay any taxes on your gains. Isn't it great? So uh, my suggestion to you, if you are a new uh, 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 trader if and you want to invest your money, first try to max out your TFS account because here your money can grow without paying any taxes. So once you have maxed out your TFS, then you can move for your uh, non-registered, that is the personal account. All right, so um, if we see uh, in here that uh, my TFS has grown by uh, 36 uh, percent and my non-registered, the personal account has grown by 21 percent. Uh, and uh, the crypto, this is a crazy one. So in crypto, it has grown by 65 percent. <laughs> Isn't it great? So uh, uh, now I'm going to show you my uh, current uh, stock portfolio update for TFSA. So under TFSA, there are two sec uh, sections. One is CAD and one is USD. Under CAD, uh, here it is listed all the Canadian stocks that I'm holding and under USD, you can see all the US stocks that I'm holding. So uh, that's uh, the two part of it. Okay, so now let's talk about my biggest holdings under this CAD and USD section of TFSA. So under CAD, my biggest holding is VFV, which is that for Vanguard S&P 500 index ETF. Uh, so this is an excellent ETF. So uh, here I have uh, invested almost $6,000 of um, stocks and uh, it has uh, gone up by $1,147. So it made me this amount of money. The second biggest holding is VDY, which is uh, uh, Vanguard FTC Canadian high dividend yield. So here is a basket of stock where uh, all the high dividend Canadian stocks are uh, listed in here and the uh, uh, dividend percentage is 4.52% that uh, I'm getting every month. This is great. So and uh, it's also gone up uh, by value in terms of the uh, uh, capital gain. So uh, that's what my two. So I'm gonna uh, talk about top three holders per account. So we have covered two in here, and the third one is uh, 
EIT. EIT is a income fund. Can we EIT? This is a very popular stock in Canada, and you will be really amazed to see that uh, how much is pay as a dividend. It is paying nine point two one percent as a dividend. This is great. So uh, every month I'm getting this amount, and uh, what I'm doing with this that. Uh, every month whenever I'm getting this uh, uh, dividend, I'm reinvesting it so that I can see the magic of compound interest. So right now I have invested uh, uh, $3,661 and uh, uh, I have currently 234 uh, uh, shares of uh, EIT. So these are my top three holdings under uh, my TFSA CAD. Now let's explore the USD section of uh, TFSA. If you see in last year, my USD section has grown by 72%, almost doubled my money in the US market. That is awesome. So uh, if I want to show you my biggest holding in here, so the first uh, that I'm going to mention is... Uh, this one amazon so i'm a big believer of amazon amazon i like amazon shared it's uh, not only the uh, e-commerce business amazon also the leader of a cloud company which is aws amazon web service so that's why i'm investing a lot on amazon i'm planning to buy more and more of amazon share that's my biggest holding under here and the second biggest holding is google uh, we all are familiar with google google is a tech giant and this is an amazing company to invest they have a positive cash flow that's why i have invested three thousand two hundred seventy two usd under google and i'm planning to uh, invest more and more uh, uh, I am a tech person, so that's why I feel more confident to pick single stocks as a tech company because I know the nitty gritty details of tech. So, once Warren Buffett mentioned that uh, you, whatever you feel more comfortable with, which uh, company, which sector you are familiar with, just pick those shares. We don't have to pick a, a lot of shares, but if we are sure, pretty certain that this company is going to go up, we should buy those shares. So, that's what I'm following. That's why I'm investing highly on uh, tech stocks. The third biggest holding for me on the TFSA US section is uh, uh, this one, uh, Apple. Apple is also a great company, so I have invested uh, uh, good money under uh, Apple. So on the TFSA, I'm holding a little bit less uh, of Apple shares, but under my personal account, I do have more Apple shares in here. So here you can see uh, I have, in, I have uh, almost uh, uh, 60 shares of Apple and I have made uh, uh, $208 profit just 22.93% return. After TFSA, now let's try to explore the personal account that is the non-registered account. So on the non-registered account, the CAD section, my biggest holdings, I'm gonna show you my biggest holdings. The first one is uh, again uh, VFV and uh, uh, second one is VDY because I, as I told you, uh, you have to come up with a, a proper plan. Without a plan, you can't do well in the stock market. So whenever you are investing in an ETF or S&P 500, then uh, you are diversifying the risk uh, quite a lot, and uh, it helps you to grow. It helps you to uh, uh, create a very strong foundation. So even if uh, the stock market is not doing well, you know that your money is invested in a very secure place and it'll go up in a short period of time. So that's why I have invested in VFV and VDY, where you can see I have invested $6,000 in the VFV, and in VDY I have invested $7,469. Beside that, under uh, t uh, under my personal account, uh, one of the biggest holding is Telus Corporation. I like this company. This is a telecommunication company. And if we see the track record in here, so in five years it has grown by 8.52 percent, and it is uh, doing a steady growth. The market cap is great, which is 35.3 billion dollar. The P/E ratio is also attractive, and it's also giving an yield of six percent. So for a stable company that is giving this amount of uh, yield or dividend that is a very good investment from my point of view so every month i'm getting this invest uh, this uh, uh dividends and i'm reinvesting it because uh, if you reinvest your dividends it will help you to grow faster so that's the third uh, biggest holding under my uh, personal account at the cat section and if we see the usd under usd in single in last year i have uh, my portfolio has grown by 39 percent that is almost like 40 percent 
all right here again you're gonna see some tech stocks that for sure because i'm a big believer of tech so under here if you see this one i have uh, purchased four thousand dollars of uh, apple shares and it has uh, grown by 23 percent which made me 780 dollars uh, so far okay after reviewing the TFS and the personal account let's explore a little bit of our my crypto portfolio so whenever I'm uh, talking about crypto portfolio so I only invest on the big cap uh, cryptos so whenever uh, we're talking about big caps the first thing that comes uh, comes to our mind is Bitcoin BTC that is uh, correct so under BTC I have uh, invested uh, uh, the major uh, portion of my money and uh, the current value of my BTC uh, BTC is uh, six thousand six hundred sixty dollar, uh, and uh, this is crazy. By one year, it has grown by eighty seven point four eight percent, which made me three thousand one hundred five dollars. Uh, this is amazing. I'm gonna uh, invest more and more. I'm just wondering, like, if I only invested on uh, this, then uh, uh, then my uh, portfolio would, be, would have grown by 87% in total. But again, we have to diversify in stock market. If you don't diversify your portfolio, you're gonna face uh, the consequences, which is really terrible. So never invest your whole money, your complete money in one stock or just a few stocks. Always try to uh, be creative, try to diversify your stock to reduce your loss. So that's the first one. The second biggest holding crypto for me is uh, Ethereum. The check mark is uh, ETH. So under Ethereum, my current uh, holding is 300 uh, three hundred uh, three thousand four hundred seventy dollars and it has grown by fifty five point two nine percent so that means crypto has done an amazing job this year for me and uh, beside this uh, I have also invested here and there a few uh, dollars few hundred dollars here and there to multiple cryptocurrencies because I really don't want to feel uh, uh, miss out because uh, in 2011 or 13 the Bitcoin price was less than a dollar but now it's uh, more than 50 60 thousand dollars so uh, it's a, always a good idea to invest a small amount of uh, money to multiple crypto currencies so that in future if it uh, makes a huge gain then you'll also get the benefit out of it so there you have it a very short summary of my current uh, stock portfolio update uh, so uh, this has been a wild journey for me when i started to invest uh, i was not that sure uh, like how to invest my money but one thing uh, uh, really motivated me to invest that is if i keep my money under any bank account then uh, it's uh, uh, pretty much like sitting idle the interest that, that i'm gonna get from there is very less it's almost nothing if we currently compare the current uh, inflation rate it doesn't even match with the inflation rate that means the value of my money is decreasing so that kept me thinking if i don't invest the money then uh, it's pretty much like I'm losing the value. So that's why I started investing. And uh, after one and a half years, I feel like that was the best decision that I made because we are really working hard to make this money. And if we don't uh, know how to grow it, then we have to work for a very, very long period of time. And after that time, if even if we get wealthy by saving, then we don't have the, we won't have the energy to enjoy. So that means we need to take some rapid action to grow our money so that we can enjoy, enjoy the, uh, the result so uh that was the motivation so uh if you guys have any questions about any of these talks that i have shown you today please let me know in this comment section and i'm gonna reply uh you very in a very short period of time the main motivation behind this YouTube channel is to create a community where we will help each other to become financially independent so uh if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming videos if you want me to cover any specific stock if you want me to do any stock analysis please let me know under this comment section and i'm going to do that for you well that's all for today have a great and wonderful day